guys and welcome back again to my youtube channel it is your favorite baby girl Diana Ekweme in the building and today i have a good i don't know how to introduce her but this is our host for today let me let her introduce herself hi dynamite <laughs> oh my god guys it's such a privilege to be here today Diana, thank you so much You're welcome guys Diana, this is so amazing from Uche Wezi YouTube channel link in the description area. Go check her out before we start this video because as you, you so can much. see, this pretty damn <laughs> This pretty damn is about to shut down this content. Oh, yeah. Anyway, we're bringing you guys something exciting, something different. She's been here for over five years in Port Harcourt City, yeah. Nigeria, and I've been here for almost is we are getting to one year plus oh really yeah. oh yes yes I'm, I'm over yeah. a year now this you december made it a year so wow. yeah so we have well, different <laughs> we have different notions want? about what goes around and what goes on in portacourt as you can see wednesday is is ready she's already strapped <laughs> she's strapped ready for this for this vlog oh, today yeah. we're going to be driving around portacourt city we're going to be highlighting the major places around portacourt okay. telling you guys what happened she's the one that will be talking Talking, oh, talking okay, we'll tell you guys. Let's just be growing. Okay. Let's not even be talking. They need to be seeing what's up. They need to be seeing that. Ah, this well, is for If someone asks you about Port Harcourt City, Nigeria, that they are looking to move to Port Harcourt City, okay. what would be the first thing you would say to them? Would you say yes oh, or no? Yes, very well. Yes, a big fat yes. Guys, this uh this town is traffic free. I've lived in Lagos, I've lived in Port Harcourt, um, yes, of course, Abuja, Ondo State, uh, Akure, Ekiti. Hey! <laughs> this one has a true patriotic <laughs> citizen of Nigeria. You know? So, you don't live in all 36 states. At least I've lived in Lagos and Abuja very well. I grew up in Abuja. So I will tell you, I know I like Abuja. I can't compare Abuja to any other state in Nigeria. You know, so but Port Harcourt is a yes, yes for me. No traffic like Lagos. Like I can decide to go for a wedding and make up by 9.30 and I'll, I'll still meet up at the wedding venue. You understand? So the traffic is not crazy in this town. The road mobility is nice, road connection is not bad. So I think it's a big fat yes. <laughs> Another thing that I have failed to add to this video is introducing Port Harcourt City. Most of the people you see here are just corporate workers. People that have... <laughs> AY, AY, they call it AY. <laughs> language yeah so it's it's such an industrial city as much as it's industrial it's also it's lively yeah it's family oriented it's family friendly you can move here with your family have peace of mind there are loads of schools loads, loads of things of to you know grow a family with yeah. lots of market you can get affordable things needless to mention about borokiri uh, oil meal Aba is just stone true. Forget the bad road. Aba is very close to us. So a lot of things that will keep you moving. Like I get, I, I broke a market. You can get cheap things like crayfish, stockfish, very affordable. Then um, all you mean market, you get a lot, a lot of things. So when it comes to family, yes, affordable things to grow your family with. This is the designated color for for taco buses. Say the cost of living in Port Harcourt is like okay, one well, uh, depending on the area, can a lower middle class earner yes, live well. in Port Harcourt? Very well, very well. Because there are places you can live, the accommodations are not too expensive, too outrageous, uh, like Ovivo and uh, some other areas like Elios, mm. Chuba, Chuba, hey, Chuba, uh, Diop. Of course, and so that areas that you can live with affordable rent and uh, affordable everything. We are currently at Equerry Road, and along this road, we have my one mile, two mile, three market. We're coming from Ajib area, and if you're coming from Ajib area, the first market you're going to see is the mile three market, then the mile two, and then the mile one. What do you? What can you find basically in these markets? Um, everything, food, everything, clothing, 
everything markets. <laughs> they have different markets. They have the my three markets, which is it's bigger than the my one market. They're all big markets actually. So they have a section for gold. I don't know if you've been to that other area. No. Where they sell gold, um, um cow no not cow, gold and um, gold basically. We're currently driving through Mile 3 Market. If you are familiar with my channel enough, you know that I've filmed yeah, in this market yeah. at least twice. <laughs> when I shopped for my baby, baby yeah, and yeah, also yeah. just the, the main food shopping that I did. Yeah. So um, basically, low income earners, oh, average income earners. Yeah, it was here. Yeah, it was yeah, here. Yeah, so you can basically come here and shop things as cheap as you don't need to go to supermarkets you don't need to go all the way to spa every day markets so if you ever are moving to portacot ask about mile three mile two my one market ordinarily like heritage bank if you see heritage bank here yeah, it looks totally different from the heritage yeah, bank, bank. Most of the headquarters are actually here yeah. like UB headquarters yeah. is there, GT headquarters there a lot of there's a bank. there's a magistrate court here I think uh, the judiciary court. whatever uh, and then post office along the line and yeah this is our what's it called again is it metro I mean Metro yeah, station. Our abandoned project. Aman abandoned metro station project. <laughs> <laughs> but this was supposed to be. But there is a railway along this area. Yes, 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 yes. Does it still function? The, yes. from here down to Aba Abia State. But yeah, Nigeria. what would you say you can find along this road? A lot of things, banks, filling stations, a lot of offices, everything is Aba Road. This is the happening place, guys. Happening place. This is the happening place. Uh, the, the longest road, I think, yes. Yes, yes. It, it has to be the longest, the longest road, road in Port Harcourt. Yes. Yes. They have how many major flyovers here yeah? and they're currently, okay we are getting to Garrison you now, they're currently building one flyover. Oh my god, that fine roundabout that, that used to be here. No, but that roundabout covered everywhere. No, I liked it. I liked it. Have you seen a drone view of that roundabout? It's really yeah. lovely. Are but you serious? They, they, they removed space. everything. Everything is off. 
by 18 months time like okay 17 months now because the governor is counting down and we are counting down for them the governor has actually paid them 90 percent for this project he announced it on radio on tv everywhere that in 18 months this flyover should be ready because he paid them off he paid them everything either 90 or 100 percent so they, wow. don't, they don't have any reason to give any form of excuses or that they couldn't complete the project you know so that is the state of things with garrison now guys this is water lines what happens in water lines um different transport system like companies, have companies RTC, uh -huh. if you're traveling God is to, good. if you're tra if you want to travel to kaduna if you want to travel to Lagos, Sokoto, Lagos, Abuja, water lines, there. there are loads of bus parks and no, bus transport companies that you can just. Serious, yes. So and they have their NDDC, the popular NDDC, and uh, NIM is there, National Population Office. Uh, they have INEC is there too. Um, so I think that's the basic, major thing, activities are there. This place, of course. And the DC office. The federal secretariat. The federal secretariat. What mm. happens here? Oh, uh, immigration office, custom office, all the federal offices, ministries. Sorry, their offices. Yeah, it's a very massive. You do your passport yet? International passport. Very big, massive office. That's hotel presidential. Yeah. Would you say this is the biggest hotel in? Oh, uh, I think so. <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's up to five star, be three star hotel. If, I don't know, but I think it's one of the biggest hotels in Port Harcourt. Port Harcourt has a lot of hotels, but not compared to where. This is Rumola. Rumola is uh, how? Old? Like a link road to everywhere. Yeah, it's a link road to <laughs> everywhere. To everywhere. That is here, yeah, Rumoputa, down here. Yeah. Any bus, any transport you want to get, you come here and get it to any location in Port Harcourt. visiting Port Harcourt and you're wondering why why is that everywhere is rumor 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 I just me too I don't have answers to that question I came here every rumor panko rumor kanshi rumor elu rumor rumor came people and came bullet I think I'll find time to count all those rumors there should be more than so many rumors and if it's not the local rumor name what you hear is maybe English names or English name or yeah like um Garrison, uh, Garrison or West, all those foreign well, yeah, names. Yeah, foreign names. So, this is Portacot City, and I hope you guys enjoyed the drive through these major areas. Obviously, we went from Ada George to mile one, mile two, mile three. From there, we went to Azikiwe Road. From Azikiwe Road, we went through Aba Road to Water Lines, from Water Lines to Rumola, and now we are currently at. Rumo Kuta. <laughs> and hopefully you enjoyed this. Let me know in the comment section have you ever lived in Port Harcourt City? And if you've lived in Port Harcourt City, what is the highlight do, for you? I think we should do a part two of this vlog. We should, because yeah, we haven't even shown yes, everywhere. Uh, Transamadi, there are so many places. Uji, GRA, GRA, ah, Atilari, uh, yeah, so many places a lot, that. Port Harcourt is big. It's big enough for you Rumo to come. Coro, come and move into but stop going to Lagos and Abuja. Come, to Lagos. come, come and contest. Come and come and live in Botako with us. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Do visit Uche Wenzi's channel. <laughs> guys, she's my tour guide. If you guys want to see a part two, go and show her love. Dynamite, please. You guys know what to do now. Go show her love. Subscribe. I'm also going to be collaborating with her 
in her own channel we're going to be shooting something amazing very amazing so please 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 come support your girl and yeah give this video a massive thumbs up do let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section and hopefully i'll see you guys in the next one for now bye